And the first is a couple of young men who are 16 years of age, Garrett Serrells and Grant Serrells, who are here with their mother, Valerie Serrells, from Harrisonburg. Their group is called imattermarch.org, and they are suing the federal government for warming the globe. They have some events coming up that you should know about. Uh, please uh, welcome Grant and, and Garrett. Hello, and thank you for allowing us to speak briefly here tonight. We're excited to be here. Um, we are fans of Anne Wright, as most of you know, uh, for her heroic acts and work for peace. My name is Garrett Sells. It's, it's my name is Grant, my twin. Uh, we are 16 years old from Harrisburg, Virginia. We are suing the federal Can't government. Hear you. Yeah. We're suing the federal government, uh, the EPA, the Department of Interior, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Agriculture, the Department of Energy, and the Department of Defense, asking them to take action on the climate crisis. Climate change affects our generation more than any other. We might not be able to vote yet, we have no lobbying or power or money, but we are standing up with you, with other youth, in court to demand that our government treat the atmosphere as a part of the public trust. Oh. Yeah. And as to act as trustees to take care of it for the enjoyment for all. Specifically, we are asking that they develop comprehensive climate recovery plans to protect our right to inherit a livable planet based on the prescription given by top climate scientists. We are part of the I Matter campaign and filed a lawsuit last year with the help of several outstanding committed attorneys. Climate change is about people. It's about hundreds of different species about water and food and security. It's about our future. As my mom always says, it is a top national security issue and a human security disaster. We have another hearing coming up in Washington, D.C. at the district courthouse on May 11th, and my brother will tell you a bit more about that. Um, what I am realizing is that the federal lawsuit that we filed against the federal government is not just any lawsuit. This lawsuit could have very real and far-reaching consequences to turn the tide of the climate change disaster completely around. The case has national significance and was noticed by the National Association of Manufacturers who filed a motion to intervene in a lawsuit as co-defendants with the federal government. At our last hearing in April, D.C., the judge in the case allowed NAM to intervene because we all know that, yes, they will be affected if we win. We are asking for 6% year reduction in carbon emissions and massive reforestation. NAM is the largest lobbying organization of fossil fuel industry with 12,000 member corporate members. Yes, they will be affected. So now we are standing up against the most powerful nation in the world, the federal government, and the most powerful industry, probably, in the world. So next Friday, May 11th, we will gather at the district courthouse to hear if the judge will grant the defendants the motion to dismiss. And guess what? All of you are invited. We need to pack the courtroom with young people and supporters who are willing to stand in solidarity on behalf of the next generation for a sustainable future and a sustainable planet. Whether the judge decides for us or against us, we do know one thing, that we are not giving up. This is just the beginning. We can't give up hope for a just and sustainable planet for ours and the next generation. This is an issue of human rights, justice, and peace. So thank you for your support and letting us be here tonight. Yeah. And if you want more information, you can go to imattermarch.org. Thank you. Thank you, Grant and Garrett, and uh, that's May 11th in Washington, D.C., and they will also have an event the uh, uh, evening before, May 10th, at Bus Boys and Poets, uh, and the info is on their website.